Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to part five of Lab CK8064. Um, I want to mention something that this lab is literally the longest lab I've done for CKD. Please do not get disheartened if you can't get this right, because in the exam, you only have to get 66% of the uh, of points. You can definitely get there not knowing how to do this long lab, right? However, just make sure that you can do the parts of it. Like, you know, if I gave you a lab to do that has two of these things, you should be able to do that. If you do that, then we'll pass the test. You don't have to know, you, you don't have to get these kind of crazy long labs correct. That's not the point of the exam. All right, back to this. So we were trying to do an empty directory mount on the pod that's part of, that would be part of the deployment. And when I last left lab four, I was struggling to find a good example. I finally found it on, on, on towards the bottom of this page. So you see there's a volume under pod spec. So again, when you do deployment, your template is the pod. So we will do the, copy this and we will go into our YAML file and under template spec, we're going to put the volume because that's pod. So volume and that become one extra space name. You see, this is this whole thing is an array, meaning array, one, array of one element, but each element is actually three parts. So let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, you see, there's a dash means array, and it looks like the size is part of. It needs to be indented one more time. Okay. All right, so what was the requirement for the empty volume? The requirement was called data at path foo data. The path comes in in the container part, not in the pod part. So we will do, um, we'll just define the volume as data. That's the, that was the whole point of, that's all we can do at the pod level. So name will be data. And there isn't anything, anything about size, so it doesn't really matter. We can leave it there if you want. All right, so next part is in the container part, you see we have to put this volume mount like this. And this is how you can mount the same volume. If you have multiple containers, you can mount the same volume from the pod under different, different paths. All right, under container, we have to do this volume path, volume mount, and this path, is whatever you want it to be. So in this particular case, they want it under full data. So you will do that. And the name, this is what it has to match. The, it has to match, make sure I have the spacing right here. It has to match the name. Name is under mount path, okay? Okay, so that looks like this. And this is what has to match what we define in the pod part, which in our case, template part for, for deployment. And we call it data, so we have to call it data as well here. So that should take care of that part. The last part is config map. This is actually not true. This is, oh, this should be a config map, not a secret. So that is a mistake here. So, all right, so we have to create one first. Okay, get CM. Okay, we don't have any. So let's create a config map. Okay, create config map minus H. And let's give an example of a literal one. Config map from path, from path, from literal. So we're gonna use that as our example. We're gonna say, K okay, create CM, CM1 from literal and we're gonna say copy paste foo, foo equals bar. Okay, that was lab number five. We were still not done. We'll have to go to, well, lab number 64, part five. We're gonna have to go to part six to finish this up. I will see you in part six of lab number CKAD 64.